Hey, I'm George, and this is George Made This. Today we're going to be doing a project that I think is going to be simple. I hope it's going to be simple. And um, we're just going to put up some corner shelves in my living room for my TV and games consoles. Now, I'm going to use 18mm ply for that. So I should be able to get both the shelves I need from one strip, one eight foot strip of the plywood. I think. So let's do it. Now, to give you a bit of an idea, you probably can't see that at all, I want the corner shelves to look like this, so they're sort of a trapezoid shape with cut off corners at the bottom on the longer face. I've worked it all out, I've measured everything, so hopefully it should go pretty smoothly. So to make sure that this is straight, I could use a square from one end, but that doesn't guarantee it's going to be square right the way up. So what I'm going to do is, this is the machine edge of the plywood, so I'm going to put my tape measure on the edge of the track, and just make sure that the measurement up this end, once that's on the line, is equal at both ends. So to work all this out, let's see if we can get a good shot on my phone. To work all this out, you just Google trigonometry calculator, because essentially what you've got is a triangle. We're just taking off one of the corners. Now this does assume that, you're, that one of your corners is 90 degrees, so you have to just work it out from that. Now as far as my shelf goes, it would be a 90 degree corner like that. So I can put in side A, which is that one, which is 78. Side B, which is the longer one at the bottom there, would be 88. And then calculate. And it gives you the sides and the two angles that you need. So I need one angle at 41.5, one angle at 48.5, and side C, so my longest side, needs to be 117.6 will go. So I measure on my bit of ply 1176 and we can probably get away with using the mitre saw. Let's use the mitre saw for that cut. Now I've got these cuts, it's where things start to get a bit interesting. I've now got to start cutting all the angles. So these are both my cut edges, my front. So with that in mind, I'm coming in and in. Now, the only thing I've got to figure out is the angle. So, using my handy dandy square, I know that Ah, this might be interesting. Here's my plan. I'm going to cut a scrap piece and go and fit it. And then that should give me the right idea. Okay, so I've mocked up one of the shelves. Uh, just using the angles from that trigonometry calculator and I've worked it out that this angle is too steep so it needs to be if I make it 48 this one is fine as 42 on my actual shelves I'm gonna make those changes I'll mark them out on one and then double sided tape them together and cut them both at the same time to give me the right angles both ways.
Right, so shelves are down there. Um, all I've got to do now is put some wax on. I'm just going to use um, wax that I've got up on the shelf somewhere to finish those. Now for the supports, I'm going to use this 2x2 two two timber and I'll paint it the same colour of the living room. Very funny coincidence though. Uh, a few years ago, I bought my first ever can of Montana spray paint and that was this colour, which is Malachite Dark. And that is actually just a shade lighter than the colour of our living room, which is really handy because this only takes probably a couple of hours to properly dry and I'll leave it out in the sun so it will work nicely so you can't really see them against the wall. Just trying to make a decision about these supports. I think that looks a bit rubbish. So what I think I'm going to do is chamfer it from this edge and I was even thinking about doing it from that edge. So all you get on this side is a little square but it then branches off from each edge into the shelf. But what I'll do, I have got a little leftover tester, so I'll cut one of those and see how it looks. Okay, so we settled on this double chamfer. I've just given them a sand just to soften them a bit. Um, but at least that way, because these are going to be a bit more visible, it just won't look as obvious that we've got a piece of 2x2 two two timber holding these up, as opposed to this, which sort of leads the eye back. Um, and by the time you see any of this, there'll be stuff covering it anyway. So that's, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So I've got all my tapers cut on all of the supports. I'm now just working out on each one where I want to drill holes. I'm going to have four holes in each piece to drill it into the wall. That way it'll give me a nice strong hold. And these are the screws I'm going to be using. These are concrete screws. So what I need to do first of all is find a drill bit that is big enough just for the head of the screw. So you think that's that. 